All right. Hi, my name is Linus. I'm here with The Bike Scoop, our weekly show where we talk about what's exciting here at Performance Bicycle. Uh, we're coming to you live right now from our home office in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And this week, uh, with the holidays fast approaching, uh, we're going to be talking about some last minute uh, gift ideas. Um, right now on performancebike.com, we have a gift guide that you can go check out if you're struggling for that perfect gift for the cyclist in your life. Um, like I said, my name's Linus. I'm here with Lindsay, Ben, uh, and Eddie from our product team. And we're going to be talking about a couple of the products that we're particularly excited about uh, in that gift guide. But like I said, check out the website. There's a lot more to choose from and a lot more ideas for you. Um, if this is the first time that you're tuning in, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we do this every week at win uh, Wednesday at 3 p.m. So uh, you know, tune in where we, uh, we uh, like to talk about what's new and what's exciting. So um, without further ado, we're just going to introduce ourselves really quickly, kind of talk about what we do. Um, like I said, my name is Linus. Uh, I kind of ride a little bit of everything uh, in terms of bikes and all that sort of stuff. Um, and we'll uh, go to Lindsay. Hey, guys. I'm Lindsay. Um, I've been working here at Performance for about a month in the apparel division. Um, I actually got my start uh, with Performance back in April when I decided to get into cycling and bought a cheap bike off Letgo. Uh, wanted to ride with the group and started with the uh, Performance Bike Series, which I actually found on Meetup. Um, and after a few months of that, um, got heavily into cycling uh, on the road bike, um, and I've been doing that ever since. So. Awesome. Yeah, and actually, Lindsay brings up a really good point. We also do every Saturday at all of our retail locations. We have Merry Christmas. We just had our boss coming by. Um, <laughs> no worries. No, it's always appreciated. That's like the that's the the dynamism, the dynamicism of being live. Anyways, um, but Lindsay brings up a really great point. We have the Great Ride series at Performance every Saturday at all of our retail locations. You can show up and go on a great uh, all-skill level ride, and uh, it's really inclusive and a great way to get into cycling. So that's how we got. That's how uh, Lindsay became part of the family here. So that's awesome. Uh, ben, you want to? Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm Ben. I work in the components division here at Performance. I've been here for about two years or so. Uh, like Linus, I ride all sorts of bikes. Uh, definitely, mostly an avid mountain biker. Uh, we ride at bunch almost every day here, and we're just talking about some of the cool stuff that that we like to take with us. Yeah. And uh, I'll pass it on to Eddie here. Hi, my name's Eddie. I also work in the apparel department. I've uh, been here for about a year. Uh, I am an avid mountain biker. Uh, I tend to uh, try to update most of my gear every year or so. Uh, that's why we're here talking about the new stuff. All right. Awesome. Yep. So again, if you're just joining us, this is the Bike Scoop. Uh, and this week, we're talking about last minute holiday uh, gift ideas. Uh, like we said, the, the holidays will be here in no time. and. Uh, so some of the things, if you go to our website right now, rather, uh, we have uh, a gift guide that you can check out. And we're going to talk about some of the products from that gift guide uh, that are available to, to purchase in our stores. Mm -hmm. So, if Lindsay, you want to you kick it off with your first thing if here? you want to hand me that. Uh, there little, you go. Little, okay. Um, so my gift choice was the, uh, <laughs> sorry, Wahoo Element Bolt. Um, it is a GPS bike computer. Um, and the really cool thing about this one is that it's actually aerodynamic, so it helps out with your speed while you're riding. Um, the things I really like about this is the uh, really nice screen. Um, you can kind of look and see, um, all of, you know, check out whatever you want to see on here. Um, I tend to just kind of put my speed, uh, time, just keep it really simple. Um, but you can make it as um, simple or as complicated as you want. Um, another really cool thing that I like is that you can actually sync this with a Wahoo trainer, if you do have a Wahoo trainer. Um, so if you're riding in the warmer weather with this, um, once wintertime comes around and you want to do those same rides again, you can actually sync the maps to your trainers and ride inside, which oh, is really, really cool. cool. Yeah, and it's like super it does, neat. Like, the resistance with, like, how yep, it matches the uh, elevation and everything, oh, wow. so it's That's really, really cool. Yeah. So. And I think they actually just updated those too. If you're like uh, using like training peaks or something like that, you can upload workouts into it too. It's it's pretty. Yeah, you can actually idea. upload maps into this too, and it has turn by turn navigation, which is super duper neat. Um, and it also has um, quick LED lights on it, mm -hmm. so instead of having to look down on the entire screen, you can actually just look at the lights and make sure that it's matching your performance, turn by turns, all that. Right. So really, That's really awesome. cool. Really yeah, cool. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, awesome. All right. I will pass it off to Ben. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to be, like I said, avid mountain biker. I'm going to be talking about 
our one of our handlebars, our carbon handlebar. It's it's called the Forte Clutch uh, handlebar. I'll pull it out of the package here. So, just to go into some of the technical specs on this, um, it's a 780 millimeter width, so a nice wide handlebar. Great upgrade for any level mountain bike. We have five millimeter cut increments so that if you wanted it 760 or 740 millimeters, uh, we have them pre-marked to where you can cut it down uh, to size. Some other tech specs, 31.8 on the clamp here, 225 grams. This is an awesome deal for, for a gift or for your own bike. Uh, I have two mountain bikes and they both have these on there. I'm a huge fan. Uh, so like I said, great gift, great gift for yourself. Uh, very, very modern in terms of, of wide, and we also offer a flat, no-rise version. This is, this is the riser bar here, uh, but there's a, a flat version as well, more kind of cross-country oriented. Yeah, so. it seems like mountain bars, like, uh, you know, obviously over the last few years or last kind of five years, mountain bars have been like wider and wider. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like what is it like? What is it about like having a wide bar that you like? I mean, well, the the progression of mountain bikes has been kind of going away from the short handlebar with a long stem to a shorter stem with a wider handlebar, and it, it gives you kind of a wider stance and more of a stable feeling. Uh, the the reason you would want to cut bars, we have a lot of really tight trees out here, you know, trails with tight trees, and right. sometimes you can end up clipping your bars if they're too wide. Uh, but if you, you ride a lot of, you know, downhill or things like that, you tend to like the even wider bars. Yeah. Uh, just more stable. Like, like if you're cornering hard, so you can kind of like push that front wheel. Exactly. And it's more. standing up. You have more leverage to pedal. Right. Uh, it's, cool. it's just the progression of, of where things are going. And it, I mean, it feels weird at first having a wider bar, but once you get used to it, there's... It's yeah. awesome. And it's usually, like, when you, like, upgrade to a wider bar, you kind of want to go to a shorter stem. You want to go to a shorter stem. Yeah, as you widen your, your, re, your uh, how far your arms are on the bar, you want to shorten the stem so you don't end up overextending your, your yeah, reach, Yeah, because, like, as you go wider, you kind of have to lean more. So exactly. So you bring it back, you kind of keep the same <clears throat> Exactly. There. Yep. I think that's really great that you can kind of customize it a little, too. Yeah, having, having really, the really cut really marks nice is nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, it takes a little bit of the um, guesswork out of, out of getting it right. Because, yeah, like, exactly. this, yeah. like, we're out here on the East Coast, so... Um, you know, there's definitely some great big national forests and stuff like that, but usually like in the more kind of um, populated areas, you know, you have like 16 miles of trail and what feels like 50 acres of land or something crazy, you know, it's just like spaghetti string. So yep, that's, to, like, that's our trails. Yeah. Our lunch there. ride, our lunch Weeds ride trails rocks, are very yeah. tight trees and uh, I actually have not cut my bars down and so far it's worked out. Oh, so you're running them, you're like the full size. 7, 780, yeah, 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 and it's it's awesome. I mean like 800 and 820 now too. 800 like, and 820 are a like thing now, and it, it, you know, five years right. ago we would have been like, what, and that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it, it definitely, it's it's just the way things are going, and, and this is, a, like I said, a fantastic uh, bar upgrade or gift or anything. So I'm going to pass it on to Eddie here. Thank you, Ben. Uh, I picked uh, this year, I picked the Shimano ME5 Mountain Shoes, a uh, great upgrade for your uh, rig. They feature a uh, the Shimano Torbal technology, kind of help keep your foot connected to the pedals. Uh, they also come with the leather, real leather upper on there. Uh, really good, nice, snug fit. Uh, very adjustable. Uh, the Cross X strap system on here allows you to kind of grab on either side of your foot and adjust either side of the upper. Uh, fiberglass midsole, really good for keeping the stiffness uh, up there. They also added a much longer spot for your cleats. It helps you kind of bring the cleat back. It's kind of a, a trend coming up, more adjustability there. Uh, you really don't have to put the cleats on there, but these are kind of designed for it. Um, the low profile strap also with the clip here, it's a micro adjust, a little clicker here on the side allows you to adjust pretty much on the fly. It's pretty nice. Uh, so I've been wearing, uh, took these out and gave them a shot. Really good fit, uh, really good. Shimano tends to have a slightly uh, wider front end of the shoe, so it uh, kind of fits with my shoes. But uh, really good shoe here. Yeah, that like wider toe box shape seems to fit like the largest cross section of people. Like, yeah, it's a really, definitely. Like, safe fit and definitely. comfortable. Yeah, awesome. yeah. We it's kind of a really, pretty uh, good gray. Breathable. Too. Yes, very. Uh, I wouldn't call this a winter shoe, but uh, you know, there's enough room in there and adjustability. You can throw a pretty thick sock on if you really need to. Cool. It's nice that you can slide the cleats back further like that. That's 
a lot of people are setting it. Yeah, especially with the there. platform pedals that actually have the, the clips in there also, it kind of yeah. allows you to, you know, adjust a yeah, lot Yeah, in more. case the mic didn't get that, Ben was saying, like, being able to bring those cleats really far back, that's kind of like, again, more of like a progressive riding exactly. position. Right. Like, you know, you can yep. kind of shimmy the bike a little bit more without having to flex your foot and put a bunch of strain mm -hmm. on your calves mm -hmm. and jump the bike around and do Stunts. 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 <laughs> Great. Um, all right, so then I'll, uh, I'll do the, the kind of the last one here. And I figured I'd go big. If you want to kind of pull like the, the hero move for, for, for the holidays here, um, this is the Reynolds R3. This is um, a special collaboration with Reynolds that we did. Uh, it's an exclusive wheel set to performance. It's one of three wheel sets that we offer, actually. This is the, the R3, which is the narrowest um, or the, the shallowest rim profile. We have an R4 at about 40 millimeters, and then also an R6, which is more like a dedicated aero wheel set. But uh, this is a full carbon clincher. It uses Reynolds' proprietary braking surface. And uh, in the box, it'll also have their uh, C, uh, cryo blue brake pads. So you get the whole thing, quick releases, um, uh, rim strip, and brake pads in the box. Um, but what's really awesome about these is that it's a 1,365-gram clincher wheel set, which is, which is pretty rad. Um, it's also like an unbeatable deal uh, value-wise. So super lightweight. One of the things I really love about Reynolds in general is that they, they tend to build their wheels to a pretty high spoke tension. Um, so when you combine that with a super lightweight rim, it really, it just makes the wheel feel really snappy. Um, besides just the, the kind of the raw performance you get out of it, this would be like more of like a climbing wheel set or even like cyclocross or like gravel where you need to like make accelerations really quickly. Um, this, um, the, the way that the wheel feels by just having such a lightweight rim and such a high spoke tension uh, is really, really noticeable. The biggest upgrade you can make to your bike is wheels. Um, you know, you can change out crank sets and stems and seat posts and those sorts of things. Maybe it'll have a little impact on how the bike feels, but it usually just changes the number on the scale, uh, which, you know, which matters to a lot of folks. Um, but when you change wheels out, it, it makes it feel like a new bike. So, uh, you know, killer value in terms of the, you know, what's out there with carbon wheels, sealed cartridge bearing hubs, um, alloy free hub body. It's a 24 hole, uh, 24 spoke rear wheel, Radially laced, uh, twenty spoke front wheel. Eleven speed. Was that eleven speed? Yep, yep. Has been so it's a it's eleven speed hub, but it comes with a spacer. If you're still running ten, nine or ten mm -hmm. speed, uh, there's a spacer in the in the box, so you can slide a nine or ten speed cassette on there, no problem. Um, and yeah, I mean they just they ride awesome. Uh, they feel fast. They are fast. Yeah. You should you should check them out. <laughs> um, so yeah. I guess that's, uh, that's it for this week. If you have any questions, uh, we'll, be all, we'll be live for just a, a few more minutes. So feel free to comment on the website if you see any questions. You know, we're here live, so if you have any questions you want to ask us, let us know. Um, but other than that, from all of us here at Performance, we want to say happy holidays. Have a great new year. Um, and we will see you uh, right here this time next week. Bye, Instagram. Bye.